casting their ballots in what could be a historic contest. Italians turned up to vote Sunday in elections that are expected to give the country its first far-right government since the end of the Second World War. I think, rather than hope, that the right will win, but I don't know how it will go. From what I hear, the left has no serious manifesto and the parties are on their own, while the right at least has a coalition. A single round of voting will select representatives for both the upper and lower houses of Italy's parliament. Under new electoral rules, the number of seats has been slashed by roughly one-third. Some 37 percent of winners are chosen by their constituencies via first-past-the-post plurality. The rest chosen by proportional party representation from across the entirety of the country. Recent opinion polls show the far-right Brothers of Italy party led by Giorgia Maloney likely to come out on top. A coalition with the far-right League led by Matteo Salvini and Silvio Berlusconi's Forza Italia would see Maloney installed as the country's first ever female prime minister. But with one in five Italian voters undecided, the results are not a foregone conclusion. And while Sunday's outcome will decide Italy's next government, it won't be immediate. It could be weeks before a coalition is in place. Next to Russia, 